as I was there in corporate, I had to learn that the first thing you need to do is learn to stand alone. So all that gossiping, trying to put other people down is a hidden competition so that you can feel more powerful or on a better stance, making other people look worse. But that always backfires. And I understand that we always want and need that little support of the group. So you get the pat on the shoulder and you have a, a group with whom you talk about others. When you talk about others in a way that is helping the group or you move forward, picking concepts, that's okay. But when you talk about character, personalities, um, bringing them down and so on, something happened with a girl who was talking about me. It came back. You know what happens with the Chinese whispers? It was distorted. I didn't mean it like that. She turned it and twisted it. It came back to me. This girl was like a professional of gossip. That's what she used to do. And she didn't even realize she was doing it. But that day, because mm -hmm. I was starting at the beginning of my spiritual path, I said, no, I'm not going to participate on this and I'm not going to let this keep on going. So I confronted her and I said, this you said, this wasn't true. I didn't mean it. And this was happened. And she went, oh, I didn't mean it. Oh, you know, it's a game. It's fun. I said, no, you're actually hurting people. At that point, I realized that me, I shouldn't gossip. And I should not take gossip from others and I should not care what other people say about me when that is their personality that comes or their opinion that comes from their own limited projection. So that was a valuable lesson. I don't particularly remember the details, but I learned that I must keep out of those dirty waters, toxic waters of gossiping or demeaning other people if they don't work. And second, it comes back to you. So I found that clear and I, I never found that difficult afterwards. It was so clear in my mind. And that goes with your concept in spiritual development that you need to be stand alone. You need to be like a tree with your own roots. So that means that you need to know yourself, accept yourself, forgive yourself and understand yourself. Knowing we are never perfect, but we are always work in progress. So as we evolve and improve, when people started to tell me, you are this, you are that, I used to say, yes, aunt. Well, before they would break me down, it was like, oh my God, is it true? Isn't it true? Endless discussions in my head. So that links to the self-criticism. So once you accept yourself, know yourself, and can live with yourself knowing that you are improving on your own terms, no one is such people, because that is manipulation from others. When you decide, because you are ready to take on the next stage of development, then you start becoming standalone. And what other people say about you is really not that painful or that hard or strong. It doesn't break you. It's just like, it could be uncomfortable, but it's just unpleasant. But it doesn't stop you. I agree. It's to do with self-leadership. There cannot be leadership if there is no self-leadership. 